Hi and welcome to my garage. I'm testing the insulating qualities of this Hebel brick or Hebel block or aerated block depending on what you want to call it. The, um, I'm wondering if this is suitable to use as a liner in my, uh, in my foundry. Let's see, um, let's see how it performs over the next half an hour. I'm testing a, uh, a Hebel aerated brick. This is uh, 2 minutes 45 seconds and it's staying cold on the other side. Okay, we're uh, 10 minutes into this experiment and um, we'll see what the temperature on the other side of the block is like. It's warm. It's warm, but I'm still able to put my hand on it. And that's 10 minutes. Okay, that's been going for 23 minutes. Let's see what the temperature on the back of the block is like. It's quite warm, but I was able to... Um, well, it wasn't hot. It was only warm. I was able to touch it and keep my hand there. I don't know how hot this side of it is, but um, it's, still, uh, it's still only warm to touch on the other side. It's now been half an hour. Beautiful colours. Let's see if I can still touch it on the back side. Very interesting, the uh, insulating qualities of this Hebel aerated block, cement block. Uh, it's, it's warm to touch on the fire side uh, at the top, but that's, the heat's been running that way. But as you can see, I could uh, easily pick up the bottom of the, um, uh, the block. Yeah, very interesting, I'm very happy. Looks like a candidate for a furnace liner. The block did um, deform slightly. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but uh, that uh, that block was uh, straight before I put the fire on it. So yeah, there's a slight deformation, but uh, nothing to worry about. Looks good. Okay, catch you later.